Hello everyone, welcome to Unfiltered Opinions and Initiative by Unacademy. I am Rishikesh Gangule. I have secured All India Rank 3 in NEET UG 2022. And today I'll be taking some of the questions which are asked very frequently in Google and on other forums and I'll try to answer them. So firstly, decide that this is what you want to do, that medical profession is what you want to take. And then get guidance. Generally, it's a teacher or it could be your parents or any other relative who has experience. And then get an idea about the syllabus required for NEET. So from my part, I can say that NCRT is the one which is required for NEET. Class 11th and class 12th learn NCRT of physics, chemistry and biology very well. And uh, I feel this is sufficient to get good marks in NEET exam. So firstly, before answering this question, I would like to say that there is no perfect timetable, there is no best timetable which suits everyone. It all depends on you. And uh, I used to have four to five hours every day for self-study, but um, you know, this was variable because I used to have a task list rather than timetable. I used to decide that on this particular day, I will finish this particular uh, chapters and I will finish everything. I will learn theory, I will learn the uh, you know numericals, I will solve many questions. So I would suggest that don't have this notion that um, you know you should study for six hours or seven hours. It depends on your task and it depends on what your strong topics are and what your weak topics are. Again, this depends on you. Just have a fixed number of hours every day for um, self-study. Okay, not fixed, but you know have a sufficient uh, number of hours so that you can cover all the topics very well and you can cover what is taught in class immediately on the same day at home on your own. So this could be in the morning or this could be at night, whatever suits you. For me, I couldn't stay awake till um, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock at midnight. I just used to sleep after 11.30. I used to find the morning hours more suitable to study. But again, this varies based on the student. So there is no particular single subject which is important for NEET. In NEET, three subjects come physics, chemistry and biology. And uh, biology accounts for 50% of the questions, but one cannot say that uh, biology is the major subject or the most important subject because the rank determining subject can vary. Some years it is uh, biology, some years it's chemistry, and generally it is physics. So one cannot afford to neglect any subject. 180 marks from physics, 180 marks from chemistry, and 360 marks from biology. So you can see each subject is very important. My answer is absolutely no. You cannot skip physics and you know physics is generally the rank determining subject in NEET. So biology and chemistry are managed by most students you know reading uh, the textbook can suffice for most part but in physics this conceptual understanding and solving numericals is very important and this is where most students falter. So I would say pay more attention to physics rather than thinking that uh, physics is not important. So um, if you practice questions, give 50% of that question practice time towards physics because physics requires more question practice than the other two subjects. Uh, generally, biology is the subject which most students find easy. But um, in NEET 2022, biology was not straightforward. Although all questions were from NCRT, but they were uh, lengthy and they were somewhat indirect. New models of questions were asked like assertion reason. So, Biology can be easy or biology can be tough. It depends on uh, you know the, a lot of factors like the paper setter and also the way you study. So you should study in such a way that all lines of NCRT are very clear and you don't skip even a single point from NCRT. All the diagrams and all the captions of the diagrams have to be learned. Analyze all the lines from different perspectives. Know where you can get confused and resolve that confusion while studying or you know while you give your mock tests rather than uh, you know, getting confused during the exam. So basically this uh, preparation strategy for um, you know school exams or board exams and NEET exam is almost same because uh, NCRT is the base for both these and you have to study NCRT in such a way that you are thorough with every line for both boards and NEET. So you know if you uh, cover NEET syllabus well then your school or board exam will automatically be covered there is no need to do anything separately. In NEET there are 200 questions but only 180 questions have to be attempted. So, you know, um, every subject has a section A and section B. In section A, you have um, 35 questions which are compulsory and then 15 questions out of which you have to solve 10. 
Among those uh, 15 questions, solve those 10 which you are comfortable with. Because if you solve all 15, there is no use. They will just consider the first 10 which you have solved. So, you know, you should not go for all the questions. It will just kill your time. Glance through all the questions. Know which one you are confident with and which you can solve easily. Go for that and solve only 10. Don't even solve 11. Because, you know, they will not consider the best 10 like they do in some other exams. They will consider the first 10. So physics is something which uh, every NEET aspirant is probably scared about and even I was scared of physics initially and um, you know the, the thing to know about physics is it's a very um, concept oriented subject so it's not that you read the textbook and then you can solve all the problems you get to know the concept while solving problems so along with reading the textbook solving problems is equally important so you should have um, some very good source to solve questions from and um, solve all the models of questions, get exposed to all of them. Don't be scared, you can find some new models sometimes which you don't answer. So you know every question is a teacher, learn from your mistakes, discuss your doubts with your teachers and I'm telling you ultimately physics is going to become a strong subject if you don't um, you know have that uh, inhibition or that fear to open the physics textbook, read it and solve problems. Because physics became my strong topic after I uh, solved a lot of questions and I cleared my doubts with teachers and I'm sure it will become for you too. <laughs> well, it depends on the way you study, but uh, I would say yes, it is easy because chemistry is a subject which is again mainly based on NCRT. Even physical chemistry is based on uh, the facts mentioned in the NCRT textbook or if it's a numerical, it is based on the simple formulae uh, one step questions from NCRT. So yes, uh, you can easily reach 150, not even not just 150, you can reach 170 as well. If you stick to the NCRT textbook and uh, you know, study regularly, keep revising inorganic chemistry because that is what requires, um, you know, memory. So you should keep revising inorganic chemistry periodically. In class 12th, you should uh, revise class 11th inorganic. Actually, you should revise the entire thing, but mainly inorganic chemistry because uh, this is where uh, you know, come, uh, continuous revision helps. Even I couldn't remember inorganic chemistry initially, but um, when I kept revising, I found that you know, gradually it became easy and ultimately I was able to remember everything in the NCRT textbook. So this should be your strategy as well. Yes, very much. I think um, there are 97 to 100 chapters in NEET because uh, NEET involves both class 11th and class 12th and uh, physics, chemistry, biology. Biology is again divided into botany and zoology. So if you combine all these, you have almost 100 chapters. But there is nothing to worry if you study regularly. And um, whatever is taught in the class, just revise it as soon as you go home. Uh, give some time for self-study and give some time for um, question practice. Do not procrastinate. Just do everything as soon as it is taught in the school or in the coaching and then it's going to be very easy for you. So I hope um, these answers were helpful to you and if there is anything else which you would like to ask please post it in the comments box and we will like uh, we will get back to you and uh, that's all for now thanks for watching and all the best to all of you